the question says which is true in case of uh, this complex you can see all are correct it is supposed to be at the bottom okay tetrahedral shape hybridization diamagnetic character whenever the question is related to hybridization geometry magnetic properties always use valence bond theory okay always use valence bond theory and uh, the steps which we follow in valence bond theory first you write down the oxidation number of the central metal atom next uh, write electronic configuration of central metal ion next write orbital notation orbital notation orbital notation of the central metal and then you consider the effect of ligand before filling of electrons in the orbital notation if the strong field ligand is there pairing of electron if we filling and is there no pairing of electron is there okay let's follow the steps calculating the oxidation number of the central metal atom we have the complex uh, this is what co hole 4 is there anyway overall charge is zero okay this is a neutral ligand carbonyl group it is a neutral ligand then we have nickel and plus 4 multiplied by zero it is not carry any charge nickel is present in zero oxidation numbers no problem at all okay next we write ox uh, electronic configuration of central metal atom because nickel does not carry any charge okay nickel atomic number is what 28 outermost electronic configuration will be 3d8 and it is 4s2 is there okay next we go for the orbital notation nickel is there for this we have 3d 3d 1 2 3 4 3d okay then we have 4s and it is having uh, 8 electron it is having 2 electron then we have 4p it is completely vacant 4p then we have 4d also it is also completely vacant is there okay before filling these electrons in these orbitals we consider the effect of ligand a strong field ligand pairing of electron now you can see what kind of ligand carbonyl it is uh, a very strong field ligand is there okay in general uh, ligands is starting from carbon and nitrogen considered to be a strong field ligand pairing of electron you start filling electrons okay so when we fill these electrons we have two four six and it is eight is there okay you can see s orbital is having two electrons but uh, you can see keeping this orbital vacant you cannot start filling this orbital but anyway anyway pairing of electron is taking place these all the electrons will go to this section also this orbital okay for example, if I write electronic configuration for, uh, for boron, it is 1, S2, 2, S1, 2, P, 2 is there not possible. Before filling this S orbital completely, you cannot start filling this orbital. Before filling this vacant orbital, you cannot start filling this S orbital. So these two electrons also will go in the pair. Okay. Pairing has taken place. Now we can find out the hybridization okay so you can see how many ligands are there four ligands we need four vacant orbitals one two three four you can see these are the orbitals available by the central metal atom to the incoming ligands okay sp3 we have sp3 hybridization then it will be forming tetrahedral geometry okay we got a tetrahedral shape is there that is correct it has sp3 geometry and you can see it does not carry any unpaired electrons all the electrons are paired then it is diamagnetic by nature obviously we can say option a is correct all are correct if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel